in the handlebars. Went this way, twisted. Sideways. And there was no grips. They were metal handlebars. There were no yeah. grips on them. Right about here, landed on it. <laughs> oh, right above your pelvic? Yeah, in the guts. Mm. Um, uh, uh, he half carried me. I, I limped to the uh, 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 picnic tables. And I was going to... For about 30 minutes, he was worried. Even his mom was worried. They didn't want to come to him. You got that. <sighs> Stop fucking ripping the filters off and you can smoke more of a cigarette. Try it. You'll like it. Why try not? it. Just try it. What could it hurt? It won't hurt if you leave it on there. I ain't giving you no more cigarettes. That's all I want, buddy. But the thing was... He was worried and his mom was worried. Like, I did, dude, I was like, for like 30 minutes, it wasn't gasping for air. It was like my gut. Oh. Dude, and the next you day. He had a big, the, huge bruise. The next day, it was about a 50 cent piece and it was that deep bruise, man. Like, oh my God, dude. He was trying, I remember uh, he was trying to uh, help me. At the time, I liked him. Mm -hmm. He's different now. He was. He, he's a pill meth head now. Oh, junkie. Yeah, now. But, but the thing was, yeah. Well, but everywhere. The, I mean, I don't think it's just exclusive. He went down that path. Flo yeah, he, that he path. He went down yeah. that path. Uh, but the thing was, he actually knew when he was younger. He went and got some mint from the from from the woods. You know, he he, that, right. he was a we, woodsy we, guy. Yeah, that's why I liked him. When, when we were kids, we could identify tons of shit. We weren't Boy Scouts, but right. And he got some mint. He got. He was eating it. You want some mint, man? And I was like. Mm. I can't, I can't move. <laughs> Remember the old Avengers game? Uh, it was kind of like Turtles. It was a beat 'em up game, side scroller. Yeah, yeah. And when you would die, you would be like, "I can't move." Yeah, like I'm <laughs> fucking dying, dude. <laughs> It'd be like Captain America or somebody fucking. They're laying on the ground. Oh, okay. Last time I saw Burwell, I've seen him before. Uh, and, wait a minute, I've seen that name. And, hold on, Bur No, his Burwell. Uh, his name was Burwell Ernst Noise. Different. Oh, I know that guy. My buddy Charlie knows him. Burwell Noise. Yes. It's the exact same motherfucker. I may have been in the room with him once. He's like 5'11", 6 yeah, foot. but he seemed normal when I met him. He's a drug... Uh, yeah, I think we did talk about it. He's a druggie. I don't know the fucking guy, but I, I know the guy. Okay. You know, I've met yeah. him before. Burl Noise. But he hangs out with uh, my buddy Charlie and the other music people when they told him the metal people. He did. The new metal faggots. Okay. When he was younger, guess what happened to him? He was in a Christian rock band called Crossroads. Oh, okay. He, they went to Europe. That's where he got the drugs. He started doing drugs. They kicked yeah. him out of the band and shipped yeah. him back to America. Burwell Noise. That's, I do remember seeing that. And that's before Maddie was born. Last time I, I, I saw him. I was still at my dad's house. Last that's time I saw him, uh, uh, that, 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 the Chinese buffet down there by uh, where the old McDonald's was in Kmart Plaza. You know, mm -hmm. that we went, Me and uh, Jason and uh, uh, Tracy. It's like no yes, yeah, but it's noise. No, N-O-Y-E-S. Yeah. yeah, no yes. No yes. It's noise, but yeah. Yeah, it's a different way of spelling it. It, it. Yeah, but we went there to that buffet, and they're in a big old, we, we were only a little uh, booth. They were in a big old table because it was Burwell, his sister, uh, boyfriends, girlfriends, and family and everything. They were and kids. They were all in a big ass table. Yeah. And I didn't see him at first. He came over, and he leaned over. And I'm like, oh, Burwell, because I, I I hadn't seen him in years. I was like, hey, buddy. He goes, hey, come on over here. Go talk to me in the bathroom real quick. <laughs> no, he wanted to do some cook. Yeah, no shit, dummy. Anytime someone's, would you like to help come help me powder my nose in the he, bathroom? You, you know what I told him? Of course. <laughs> That's what I you told, told him. I told him. I was, <laughs> I was told not to talk to you anymore, buddy. By who? His mom and my. Oh, you guys my, were still like teens. His or mom. No, uh, no, we were. It was about four or five years. No, but right before my mom got sick. Oh God. About six years ago. Seven and years. even then, I wasn't even talking to my buddy Charlie. So he, it was even before he that said, that I heard about he said, hey, man, come talk. Back of my mind. Did when you I was it? Wait, no, Did I you went, do it? No. No one's listening. No. You did it. I went, no. Have, you've never done coke in a bathroom before? No. Mm. You missed out. <laughs> You're too old now. But yeah, I'm too old now. I was I in my 20s. My me and my buddy uh, Dave and fucking Frank. No, 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 we no, all no, fucking did coke in a bathroom once. He... Yeah, he said come in the bathroom. He said come in the bathroom and talk to me. 
And the thing was, he was so skinny, and his sister, goddamn, Adrian, Adrian was such a beautiful, curvy redhead. I mean, they are ginger almost. You know, not him. He was black hair. But his uh, brother and sister, he has two brothers. One's black hair and one's ginger. And his, right, right, right. And his sister's ginger. Dude, I saw his sister over there eating, too. A little skeleton face? <laughs> yeah, like, God. I was like, no, dude. I, I was told not to talk to you, dude. And he goes, okay. He goes, what? I looked straight, and he walked away. No. Yeah. Dude. His sister came down because he fucked up with my sister. Uh, did you know the sister? Uh, I mean, did I tell you the story about him and my sister? No. When no, because we were already discussed that I fucking know, have met the guy before. Okay, let's go real quick. When I was little, we were friends. And then one time I met, and no, one time they were leaving. Faster, I, must talk uh, faster. Okay, one time they were leaving. <laughs> Listen, one time they were leaving, and it said, <laughs> where's Burwell? I don't know. I'll go in the house and find him. And that was when I lived on Seneca Street. And he was making out with my sister in my fucking room. That's back when she was hot, right? Before she was at 14. You know, she was yeah, hot, bef yeah. Before she was a... They were little, they were teenagers. Before she was a biker slut. A biker junkie slut. <laughs> Don't. Nick! Oh, it's not Nick. Don't be yelling at people on the street. I thought it was a bicycle. How will it be Nick. a person you know? Brittany. Brittany's boyfriend, What makes Nick? you think it's him? Nick comes around. I thought he I don't come around here. He comes around on a bicycle with his kids. Not around here. Yeah, he does. No, we don't. Oh, I've seen him. Not here. Okay, my point is, junkies. Dude. They're making out, and that's when I found out my sister was sort of a whore. Okay, <laughs> at fourteen. Right, yeah, of course. <laughs> you gotta learn somewhere. Sucking right? my friend's face off. I'm um, sucking. Oh, I, she didn't spill a drop. By the way, not a drop. So your your sheets were safe. But. Before that happened, I don't know, about another three years before that, I was working with him on a one job. And he stiffed me for 30 bucks for about two weeks. And I kept bugging his ass until he came over and gave me my money. And... Surprised he had it. <laughs> no. Okay, listen. He had a bad problem for a while when he was a teenager. And then when he got a, about 20 years old, he fixed it. And he became clean. Maybe that's when I met him. Yes. He didn't seem like a mess when I met him, but you don't really know somebody until you've known him for a while. He know? wasn't He wasn't a mess. Okay. Like, he, he was wearing nice clothes. He had nice hair. He, he had his this, skin was clear. He had, yeah, he had this shortcut hair. His, his he had clear pussy skin. on his arm. His fucking triceps and biceps yeah. were, like, bigger. Like So he fixed it. He, was, he had a construction business, and he was doing stuff. That's when I was working for him. And all of a sudden... Went back to it. All of a sudden, that drug relapse. That drug gets to them, dude. And gets, all of a sudden, you get a little bit of money and you completely yeah. Jimmy Minus out. <laughs> you Jimmy Minus out. <laughs> no, hey, I, they're I, never. They're never. You know. I was worrying I'm about done. your kid for I'm a while. I'm done. Oh, I was too. Yeah, but he's. He seems like he's doing better now. He's. Mm -hmm. He. He's going across America and he's. That's awesome. I never expected that from him. Like, he was going to go across America and I, I've live. Been, I've been encouraging Jared to do that for a few years now. Told, like, yeah, don't get me, stuck you, in Daytona, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, get away you, from this. Get yeah. the fuck out of here and go see the world a little bit. Yeah, you bit. said if you can get out, get the fuck out of Florida. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out <laughs> I'm only here because I came out through the other side better because I was never like that. I never did the junkie thing. I should thing, be but here. I should be in, like, a mountainish <laughs> kind of... Your ashes would have been spread like Walter Solchak. Had you succeeded with your little experiment that you did on your arm, <laughs> you wouldn't have been out there. To sh no, I didn't know you. I know. You know what I mean? But somebody would have. <laughs> Walter so oh, checked you. Oh, oh. <laughs> the girl I used to. You no, know, the girl I, I I put my dick in. I didn't fuck her. I put my dick in <clears> like 30 seconds and the condom broke. And I, you, you're adjusting, you know, you're putting your dick in. You didn't keep her. going? Hold on. You're fucking her. You, you, and all of a sudden, you, you ch change positions, you know, you're, you're fucking her. And like back sudden, in the brother's you see, car, right? You see, no, no. This was a chick in uh, uh, another. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Uh, but no, the condom broke, and my dick was outside the condom. And she's noticed. And she, no, I noticed it. She was saying, "Do it anyway." No, I stopped. Do it anyway. No, I was really weirded out when I was. It's like, like Kermit with the emperor's hood on. Do it anyway. Do it. Do it. Fuck her anyway. No, the thing was, I said hold it. On, hold on. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> he, did. Yeah, he was like this. Coming out here. 
Are you guys talking about something gross? He was like this. Anyway, continue. <laughs> um, she, I said, oh man, the condom broke. And she said, what? Because she wasn't that wet. She was wet, but it, she was small. So she was like a virgin. And yeah. my dick's not small. Whatever. <laughs> so I took my, took it off my dick. And I went. <laughs> I blew it. I was a young kid. And I blew it. And Did you put your <laughs> mouth where your dick was. And her pussy? No. There was no cum. It, it, it was on your dick, and then you put your mouth on it to blow it up like a balloon, like Howie Mandel <laughs> blowing up a fucking rubber glove. And it was already broke, so... It what, was on my dick. So I what the... It was on my dick. My dick, okay? Come on. You would put something from that was on your dick on your mouth. <laughs> it was it was covered in pussy cum. Come on. It's not pussy cum. You didn't well, her it lubrication... Up. You well, said my, she was dry. My well, not dry, but she was. I found out she was actually. She played with herself. She was a virgin. I can hear you guys' nasty ass talk in the house with the TV on thirty. Now knock it off. You knock it off. Go somewhere else to talk about. I'm it. sitting on my carport. I don't want to hear it. Do you know Stephanie? Uh, Go Robinson? like this. La 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 yes. la la. I was friends with her growing up. Yeah, that's who I'm talking about. I know. About. I don't want to fucking hear it. Shut up. <laughs> okay. All right. Continue. Um. The only reason why I did that is to prove that it was it had a hole in it. We were drunk at the time, so it was. That, 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 it's my dick, okay? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, you did though. It, it's in close proximity. There's no dude. cum in it, dude. No, yeah. it touched your dick. Hear you. Fuck off. My point is, I stopped it because, and I started just eating a pussy. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, yeah, I, I went. So, you put your she, mouth she told me to where stop. your gloved up member had already been. <clears throat> I guess yeah. that's okay because it wasn't raw dick, in it? It's not like you put your, no cum, your mouth yeah. on where your raw dick was. There's no cum. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> well, the, right. thing, the thing was, after that, no, 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 uh, when I was eating your pussy and everything, after that, um, Cassie knocked on the door. It was locked, but <laughs> the chick she knows Cassie too. I was I was fucking her in her room. Just say nasty. 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 Um, nasty. Nasty. Uh, Cassie. But, <laughs> nasty. Cassie. She knows Cassie too. The thing is, thing is, we both stopped because I didn't want a kid. I didn't right. want to come in her room. You know what? How old were you? Se- How old were you? Seventeen. Smart. You're smarter than most people. She was fifteen. About to be sixteen. Smarter than most people. Um, I, I commend you on that, but yeah, it would have been good if it just raw dug it. I could have, but I stopped. Mm, imagine how different your life would be. Yeah, I, here, lucky you. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't. I, you probably I, still call her like, you know how lucky no, we no, are. No, 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 Because no, she's no. probably got like forty-seven kids by now. But you're like, you know she how lucky one. I am to not have fucked you and got you pregnant. Woo! She has <laughs> one. Okay, here's another story. I don't consider uh, that my loss of virginity to her. No, it doesn't count. Yeah, it didn't. Then I got with this chick named Amber. There's like 47 steps you gotta do to lose your virginity. Then this chick named Amber, and I came, and well, I had a condom, but I came in the condom break and everything. It was good. Hmm. Cool. Magnum. No, it was a lifestyle. No, I mean, just extra large. Yeah, that's one thing about them condoms, man. If it's not an extra large, I'm not saying I have a gigantic dick. It feels like it's squeezing it. You yeah, know? squeezing the blood back it's, out. Yeah, squeezing yeah. the blood. I, like, oh, horrible damn. feeling. That's why, yeah, yeah. I, that's why I don't use rubbers. Instead of a head, you have a squished head. Yeah, and it's, it's squeezing the blood <laughs> squeeze, out of it. It's, it's squeezing it down, yeah. It's like you never want a tight fist over your cock. The only way you're you want dick, a loving fist over the, your cock. The only way your dick is that hard is when you real calm and it, it pushes it out. And well, that's what the reservoir is for. Yeah, but no. Um, the tip. Yeah, the reservoir that, that's tip. who I lost. The, uh, but I got her on all fours, mm. and 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 she said, "Oh, it feels like you're stabbing my insides." Yeah, that's what you want. And her eyes rolling back in her head. No, no, no. We had to change back to her back because she didn't like being on the fours. So she don't like to fuck like a dog. She okay. She was sixteen. She probably does now. She was sixteen. Hey, I found her uh, a couple years back, but she's she was fifteen, about to be sixteen, 
but she'd been fucking since she was 12. Oh, my God. I don't but, need to hear this. But she was in fucking older guys. She oh, was, my God. Man, I... Was that this area? Because I need to stay away from everyone. She knows Jim Gar. G-E-M. Right, right. Still, you can say it however you want. Spell however you want. Jim, I don't know who that is. Jim Gar was a blonde chick with... Oh, my God. Nice. And... <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm done telling. It, 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 it's a long fucking story. Jim Gar was nice. Though. There was a time I was behind her in math class, and she was wearing them booty, sh the, the, like um. You got some binoculars out. Some, some sweat booty shorts. They mm -hmm. were like sweaties. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, she was sitting on that hard chair, hard. and she had red marks because she was set. Yeah, you know, but this one time she reached over, bend over from the chair to reach. I was right behind her. And I saw everything, mm. except for the it just bump and everything, but it was all red marks. Have you ever seen that shirt that says, I give petties to uh, camel toes? Manny petty, but it's, I think it's petty when it's feet, right? That means you kick people in the pussy. <laughs> I give petties to fucking camel toes. I was thinking just massaging it with the foot. <laughs> mm. Massage it with your fingers, and then you go to town with your cock. Here's one thing that you need to know as a man. Don't ever make a woman put make you submissive to put your mouth on her pussy. You know why? That's what women do. Because they don't have dicks. Well, when they if you got a big dick, you never put your mouth on their pussy. Well, no. When they, you, you warm them up, right? When, you warm them up, and then you give them what they can't get from a woman. The one thing I want, just, you know, just to experience, is oh, when sure. they're almost coming, and they shove your head in there, just like you would shove their head in your cock when, when you're coming. And, yeah. I don't know. They, they, when they, oh, one thing about it I learned, uh, uh, not not physically, but I read about it. Um, their clit has two little tiny points on the side of it. They're called K points. No, those are called purpose. <laughs> but they're, no, there's two <laughs> little uh, red dots. No, there's two. No. Two little tiny itty bitty little oh red God. things. You read too many books and not enough pussy. I know. I'm just telling you this. And the thing is, most Americans look up and down. But if no, you, you get go, tornado. But if you go side like a tornado. Hold on. If you go sideways. Circular motion. But no. Yeah, I know. But if you go sideways, if you if you go the other way, mm -hmm. and instead of down, you right. go mm -hmm. sideways. That and you lick the points up and down. That it's it, it, it's right connected to the G. You know who we need to talk to. Is that guy who split his tongue down the middle so he can get both sides of the I always wanted thing. to do that, but no, dude, it's retarded. Don't I know it is. It'll ruin no, your life. Okay, no, but it won't ruin her life. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, okay, I know uh, I'm, I'm getting graphic, you know, but sure, uh, uh, down. Yeah, they cut it, but think you have to learn how to talk again. Yeah, it's retarded. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, you have a diseased mouth. No one's gonna let you put that fucking scaly thing on their fucking <laughs> privates. You see the splits in it? Yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. I was in your library with you. Your breath My library. is horrendous. My, yeah, sometimes but it is. <laughs> it didn't offend me. We're putting together a fucking wide wing Lego. My, so my, like, just my, open the window, dude. My the breath, window's already open and I'm like, okay. My breath is actually coming from my stomach. I, mean, I know shit. It's because, everybody. Be, no, no, no. It my, is everybody. I know, but my, my teeth, I have to drop four grand on my teeth, dude. They're fine. Yeah, it, yeah. It's coming from my stomach because I got... I Everybody's bad breath comes from their stomach. I know. And But not everybody has scales on their tongue like you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm happy about that. Dude, dude I got... It's called a geographic tongue. Yeah. Huh. It it's actually has... It's weird. <clears throat> you just Some have, people have a reptilian brain... You just happen to have a snake tongue. Chris was talking about that. He said, oh, my reptilian personality. Yeah. Can you have a big one? No. <laughs> but no Chris I'm going to be drinking all hey, goddamn Chris, night. Chris, i got to work tomorrow. I know, but Chris but I'm not going to drive to work tonight. I'll Chris, drive to work Chris tomorrow is, when I'm sober. Chris, Chris loves talking about what-ifs and uh, different... Um, Sometimes he's funny. I know. Uh, he, he tries too hard. Yeah, sometimes when he's talking to me, and the words he uses are not in the same context as how he should use them. No, but, but that's on purpose. He, no, he isn't. He has vocabulary. Like but. Ricky. Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> I don't think... No, your brother's smarter than that. 
Yeah, I understand. I just told you that. Yeah. My brother, though, he uses words sometimes. He knows the words because he always, uh, dude, he hated and loved vocabulary when he was younger. He hated doing it, but he was really good at it when he put his brain to it. You know, I mean, sometimes, you know, uh, he went to high school. Oh my goodness. I, I'm just saying I did. Oh. Uh, and I'd it, say you're smarter than most people I know, even though you didn't go to corporate fucking mm -hmm. public high school. You can still have, I love that meme, you can have a, uh, a, a, a degree and still be fucking stupid. All the most famous people, all the people that have been the greatest things in the last 35, 45, 100 years, none of them graduated high school. I said fuck this because I wasn't learning anything more in the school than I was at home. I was right. reading books. My, yeah. my mom and dad bought me books. Hustler, dude. swank. Yeah. No. <laughs> you asshole. FHM. You see my Maxim. Yeah, but you've seen my. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you have a you have a really nice library of actual knowledge. Yes. And I read that shit, and what really, what I hate is my. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. What I hate is my. That? Hold on, hold. On. Yeah, I heard that. There's some bitch screaming out in the fucking darkness. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. It's a man. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Welcome to Bike Week. Anyway. Oh, hold on. He was saying, you told me that. Can you hear what he's saying? That's at least five streets away, dude, and we can hear him. There's another guy. Oh, please get. I want to yell something, I shouldn't. No, no, no. Oh, no, I ain't. Do, do but... it at your house. <laughs> do it at your house. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> but my neighbors will. God damn, dude. They're not bothering my neighbors. You would. <laughs> um, should I tell you what I did a couple nights ago? I wasn't impressed by it. Uh, what's it, what's the uh, context we're talking about? Like, what, what is, uh, what's... Death. Oh, God. Sure. You just said fuck you, asshole. Meanwhile, at the White House, I stuck the gun in my mouth and clicked the. You're fucking dumb, dude. And clicked the hammer back, but then I clicked it back. Last, no, two nights Stop ago. Stop doing that stupid shit. You're like, I can do whatever I want. It I, ain't gonna hurt me. No, no, it, you won't feel it. Yeah, because you'll probably survive it. Yeah, I know. Got me? You've already done it. My once. luck, man. Stop doing that. I just was in a bad mood one night. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. Get it. I get it. Well, here's what you need to do. When you have these feelings, whether good or bad... I try to talk to you or my brother. Whether I, it's good I'm or bad, you. they're just feelings. And I being know. a man, never be a slave to your feelings. I have... Because it's not important. It's not important. Those feelings... Listen. Stop trying to distract those feelings go away. I had and that then barrel up later on my when roof have, in my mouth, man. When you're sane again, yeah. like, so glad I didn't do that. Let's learn from that and not do that again. I shoved the barrel on. You tried to do a tattoo Todd. No, tattoo Todd, you know, hey, my dad hates him. Did I tell you about that? Mm-hmm. Dude. No, let's, let's stay, on said, top, stay on topic. But he said Stay that, on topic. But he said... Ta stay on topic. Tattoo Todd. You can't just say, I almost killed myself. Let's talk about somebody else. Okay, but no, I'm just saying... I'm just saying... I'm just saying... I'm just saying, my dad said he couldn't even kill himself properly. Dude. He had every opportunity. Yeah, he shot up. He has a rubber piece that goes in his mouth for his uh -huh. I've, I know. I've seen he the guy. Hard, he went to my fucking skull. He's been to my house. It was a 45. Yes, I know. It's stronger than yours. Yes. Stupid. Bigger, Don't ever not, fucking do that again. Bigger. No, I know. I just... I, uh, I, I want to test the limits of reality sometimes. No, you, I, you're the only one I told, man. Don't, I'm not don't get angry. Her. I'm not angry. Okay. I'm disappointed. I know. Me, myself, also. Stop it. I'm not going to do it. Get I, rid of it. No, it's fine. You want Can't to pay five, you you want five, 500 bucks? No, it's used. It, it almost used? Killed, it almost killed a guy. <laughs> I love you, man. Come here, Was it loaded? Yes. You're fucking dumb. I went... Another pound and a half of pressure. Now no, I now. thought about it. I put it away. No, I had no finger on the trigger. 
Close and, enough, dude. And I drank my last beer and went to bed. That took a dark turn. That was my fucking dark time a couple nights ago. Stop it. Why? I have nothing... What do you mean, why? Why should I stop doing this to myself? I have nothing to... I have nothing. Nobody has anything when you really think about it. I have nothing. You have more than me. Uh, Way you know, more I, than me. You know what? I just happen to be smart. I worked through no, my I don't fucking give a depression. Shit about money. I have you no have money. You have a woman. I got you, no have, you have a kid. Listen, it, all that can be gone like this. Yeah, I know. Just like that. All that can be gone, just like that. They could be fucking dead on the highway one day from a random accident. I'm just saying. Nothing ever lasts. I'm just. But I, let's rush it up a little bit. I got. No, oh, no, 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 oh, no. I did. You're dumb. I no, I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes, just say yes. I was yes, gone. Yes, I, I understand what you're saying. God damn it! I'm I'm a little depressed around this time of year because my mom and I started thinking of her a couple nights ago and that not gonna help you. No, it won't. I know. It's okay to be sad. I didn't do it. It's okay to be sad. Okay. Just feel it. Cry. I I do. Do it alone though, because I don't want to see it. <laughs> I love you. No man. Now nah, you know. It, that is actually something you should cry about when I'm dying. Yes. But now you should really start uh, employing the healing process. Get over it. My mom's been dead a lot longer than yours. My dad's been dead a lot longer than yours. I love him. And yeah, I've been. Did you know your original dad? Not my real dad. Oh. But the one that raised me. Yeah, I love that but guy. I, I miss both times. of them. Dude, I, I miss I, them both so much. I, Never once would I say. I can't handle stress. No, I went back because of the dark time about the time I was thinking about with this. And right. I still haven't told you. I've never told anybody exactly why. Well, I, I, you can keep it to yourself to. if you want to. Yeah, I don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> but I did tell you, you're the only one I told you about what I sort of experienced. It was creepy. Right. I, I was laying. You know, I was sitting in a chair like this. You know, just a chair. I was sort of almost not in a chair, but sort of in a chair, but laying down like this. Mm -hmm. like, and there like was a lazy a, boy. There was a guy in a chair. He was dark. There was no light around except for a little light around his head and a little bit around his hands. And he was talking to me. I don't really remember too much. But he was talking to me about how I wanted to uh, re-enter the world and how I wanted to uh, change my life. It was weird. And also, how it could be great about doing what I was doing. Like, you could go, you could go if you wanted to. I don't know how to explain it. Um, mm -hmm. This dark figure was talking to me. He's lying to you, trying to trick you to kill yourself. No, I was already DOA. I, this is when I was. Okay. This is when it was happening, yeah. and I was already passed out when they were probably trying to. My, it's a little fucked up because my dad just grabbed the fuck out the artery and just grabbed the fuck, and he said, the, the guys came and said, uh, uh, let go. We need to uh, observe him and uh, uh, get him normal, and my, my dad was like, if I let go of this, blood's gonna go. You ain't gonna do. That. And they were arguing for a while, and I was. I was, I was gone. Yeah. Then, I think I told you, my mom hugged that fucking EMT guy to death almost. Thank you, thank you, crying and everything. And he goes, he survived. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. He survived? I mean, because I was... But, but the thing that really... I, you're the only one. I even told my brother about the dark figure. Or my dad, no one. Yeah. This dark figure talked to me. It was weird. I had this, like, it was a dream state, mm -hmm. you know? But it seemed very fucking real. Well, I'm sure it was. It, you you were getting your DMT. Yes, uh, I was. You were going to go out the right way. I was. Even though it's suicide, it's not like you snapped your neck or you blew your head off. You got your DMT release. Dude, I only shot this one off, and it was not flowing. It was going pssst, yeah. pssst, pssst. With the heartbeat, pssst. yeah. Yeah, and... Okay, I'll tell you. You don't have to. What the cops say is I cut myself with a sharpened key. No, I had a cool ass key. It was a male key from my grandpa. It was an awesome key. And I had a, uh, a scalpel head. 
veterinarian scalpel head. It was thicker and sharper than a normal scalpel. And I tied some um, uh, metal duck, ducking work tape on it. And the reason why they thought it was a sharpened key is after I uh, eventually got an artery, I shoved it into my uh, uh, chair that I was at, so it broke off the tip. But I went... Oh, from your palm all the way up? Yeah, I, I went... Thought, I was always under the impression you started up here and went down. Wow. I, I went... Oh, you did it multiple times. Oh, my God. Didn't it hurt? I was drunk as fuck and on... Uh, that would uh, still hurt. I went... Oh, my God. You flailed yourself. Well, I breathed. Christ. Yeah, dude, it was hanging. I got to uh, the deepness, and I was doing this, and I oh, saw trying to work the blood. No, I saw. Oh, yeah. like Luke Skywalker's fake hand. I, all, all the little gears are moving. Hold on, I saw this. After the muscles I flayed out, there is a big old rope, and, you know, like on a uh, ship, but it's braided yeah. like a. Uh, like those big old industrial uh, uh, steel cables, right. you know, they're braided. Mm -hmm. It was braided, and I was doing this, and I was seeing my fucking tendons moving. But I was only bleeding slightly. I didn't get an artery yet. And that's why them striations are there. I went, oh my god. I was doing it hard, mm. and all of a sudden it went, pss, pss, and I went, <gasps> finally. <laughs> Can't even do that right. Oh my god. And I kept doing that for you about You did it on purpose to make your heart rate uh, hyperventilate. And yeah, you're not getting any oxygen. You think you want to breathe. But yeah, but you knew that was going to make it spray more. Well, it, it, I didn't know at the time. No, no, no. That's what you're doing. Right. Um, did you remember um, 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 Terminator 2? Remember when that black guy got shot no. and he was supposed to, he was supposed to detonate the whole oh, yeah, area yeah, yeah. and he's like, I don't know how long I should hold this. Oh, God. That's the only thing I actually think is actually accurate. Right. That's how I did it. <laughs> and eventually I blacked out. Oh, Blood loss. Um, seriously, I was thinking about it. But then it, uh, my, the doctor even said to my mom, or the EMT guy, two minutes. If you wouldn't have found him within about two, he would have been gone. Oh, my God. She actually sprained her ankle. I can't tell you. As much as you exasperate That's, me sometimes, no, I, I, I am so happy. I'm alone. At least you're here to do that. I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't told many people about this, dude. Oh, my God. You're lucky. I told you. <laughs> I don't feel lucky, but... I'm glad you're still around. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> no, you um, should feel lucky, dummy. The one thing was bad is I should have went back and tried to get... No, the... no. Oh, hold on. If, what, you plan it from next time? No. If it next time, it'd be right here. Don't do that. But listen, I should have went... You know Chad shot himself, right? Did he literally do it? The, the... He fucking... You remember he did it a few years back. He said it was He's an got the scar. Yeah, whatever. He's fucking drunk and stupid. Fuck shot himself. No. And then uh, Dave, Dominic's brother, he didn't shoot himself. A bitch tried to kill him. And he took the he gun. He said it was he his He said fault. it was like. Yeah, yeah. He, he took the blame. Because yeah, he was brainwashed by him, some yeah. fucking super hot dude, chick that tried to kill him. But first, he said first, it his, through the arm. Because <laughs> that was a 45. It went through the bones of uh, his forearm. Yeah, uh, yeah it and went it was right hanging through. down like spaghetti. Yeah, I remember. He had this huge ass yeah, fucking yeah, it ruined his life. Now, I talked to him before when he was drunk. Before, before I think it was the second time I met him. Mm. Even the first time, I, I said, hey, man, yeah. Was and that I, when we were filming that show? No. Okay. It, this was, um, we were smoking cigarettes and Dominic and Jimmy all went inside and it was just me and him. We had a couple beers. We were drinking. And I said, and I asked him, hey, I was like, man, yeah, me too, man. Uh, what happened to your forearm? Right. I was like, okay, man, you don't have to tell me. You didn't tell me. Well, we all knew. I didn't know. We knew the fucking crazy chick he was date she was dating. But he she's said, in prison now but because he she tried to do it to somebody else. But he, uh, or she only, actually succeeded the only in killing thing I really, The only thing I really regret <laughs> is that uh, Dom loves tequila. 
And when he died... Oh, I regret loving to kill him in my 20s. No, I hate to kill him, man. It oh, makes man, puke. never again. Oh, no, dude, I take a shot of tequila now, I'll puke. Yeah, I, I don't, don't like, like the smell. <sighs> I don't... Jaeger is another one I won't do. Goldschlager, no, I, like I won't do. I've never done Goldschlager. You don't need it. It's fucking... It's even worse than <clears throat> Jaeger, except... At Maybe least no. you feel you feel good because it's gold in there, but no, the gold actually tears up your stomach and intestines. Nah, not if you're a man. But <laughs> but that's that's like a a beginner's drink where you well, see, you intentionally drink too much to see, puke your when, ass when, off. When I when I was Fuck when I was younger shit. when I was younger I didn't really try it. I tried it when once. And I, did, I think I tried gold sugar once. It's like but, a licorice. But yeah, it's not bad. Anise. It's awful. It's an anise. Yeah. It's an anise. 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 Yeah, Sorry. You can say however you want. <laughs> it's an anise. Like an anise. It's an yeah. anise. Uh, but the thing is, I only took a shot off the top. A lot of people want to shake it up. No, that gold is not good. Yeah, it's, it's just little flakes. But they're razors. They go through your... <laughs> they're razors, you asshole. You give a special little treat when you shit. But okay, Dom just celebrated, well, just went to the funeral, not celebrated, but experienced it. Went to the funeral, and three days, it was about three days later, and that's when I had my money, and I went and got him a $60 bottle of uh, uh, Silver Patron. Mm, that's not bad. And yeah, it's not too bad. I actually, I don't like, I, I don't mind the 1800. Right. The 1800 is like a whiskey. It's not bad. Yeah, it's better. It's not that shitty. It's mel Yeah, not the 1600. That's fucked. Well, it's not the bottom self shit that we used to get. But Dom looked at me and said, bro, why did you just buy me a bottle of liquor when my brother died of cirrhosis? We drank at Dave's wake. He got upset, but he took it. He got upset a little at me, but he took it. When, uh, when we were all honoring Dave, we had coolers full of beer. At the, on the beach, at that park at the beach, and uh, we were all drinking. What's that shit? His mom was all muttering because she had a stroke. I love his mom. Uh, I mean, no, I no, used no, to no. love doing her voice. Not his mom. I love Jason's mom. Yeah, I love Jason's mom. Jason can go fuck himself yeah, at SJW, fuck him. fucking yeah. piece of shit. I love his but mom. His mama, I even love what? his sister. His sister's fucking awesome. Nah, I'm, I'm not gonna go that far, but I really adored Jason's mother. I only, well, I only met her that one time when we went and saw the... Uh, the this was a badass bitch, Jason's mom. Jason, listen, I never believed that women could beat any, any man in anything until I met Jason's mom. <laughs> she owned a bar. I seen her drag men out of the fucking bar by their fuck. hair. Beat the fuck out of motherfuckers. Get the fuck out She of was here. a bad bitch. I don't know how her son Jason turned into such a pussy. Okay, you know what goes through my mind all the time? I, I even thought about it. I almost think about Jason every day. You know I do too, because we were friends, man. And as soon as 2016 happened with Trump, he's like, everyone's a Nazi except me. I'm sorry. I thought at the time that he was just as man as me, you, Jimmy, and Glenn, and all of them fuckers, Dom and everything. I thought you, we were men. I thought right? so too. Listen, <laughs> I, that's when I, I still had still toes. He and, went weak. Listen, he was standing in fr right in, this bowl right away. He was standing right in front of your doorway in, the, in your apartment. Mm. And we were all fucking around. I thought we were men and stuff. We fuck around. We're and when we were got sensitive. Hold on. We were children. We fuck around with each other. But apparently he didn't have a, a, a brother to fuck around with. Yeah, he right? does. A much bigger brother. Really? But he was the aggressor. Jimmy wasn't Listen, the aggressor. Jason I did this. Was. I think you were right beside me. I did this. Don't be breaking my house, dude. I didn't even what, hit him. What are you even trying to... What did you do? I hit him in the shin. Oh, uh, it's like... Eh, but I, I, I barely did it, like... Yeah, like I, wish, I, I wish I could say he, he became weak all of a sudden because he went soy. He went... He, he went, still eats regular food. Dude, I don't see, get it. Seriously, here, get it. here's your bike tire. I did this. Mm, and he went... <gasps> I remember that. Oh, man! Right, why'd look, you do that? I was let's like, not go too overboard, but... I threw my hands up, and I said, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to you hurt... You do that, I, man. I said, uh, yeah, I was like, I'm sorry? And he was, like, complaining. Oh! Dude, maybe you, you hit 
Maybe an old injury or something. No, he was just his shin bone. I barely oh, tapped it. Oh, he's been in I, car wrecks and shit, man. Oh, I didn't know. But no, dude, thank yeah, you. You were being a fucking dummy. Trying dummy, to push yes. Your, trying to push Trump. your weight around. I'm bigger than you. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. All I did, we were talking, we were talking, just bullshitting around. Mm -hmm. and I was like, hey, and, and we were, I think he was talking about some kind of thing, an uh, injury, yeah, he, or, he, yeah, or picking been, on. He does and have I just an went pink. And. <laughs> I've been hit harder and I didn't even flinch. You haven't been through what everybody else has been through. I know. You're not supposed to touch people. Do I need to remind you? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, my point is, I'm, I'm Biden. <laughs> uh, 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 the thing. Sniff my hair. <laughs> sniff, what's, sniff, <laughs> sniff what's left of my hair. Yeah, <laughs> sniff what's left of my hair. I'm not gonna. <laughs> but no. That's, I think about it all the time because I could have got kicked twice as hard and I would have went, you fucker, and I would have... Mm. All right, let's, let's change the subject. But, but that's when I, when he started getting <coughs> all... Mm. Yeah, he started, yeah, it was fun telling you, like right after Trump yeah. won. He, the Pacquiao he, fight. Remember the Pacquiao, Mayweather and Pacquiao fight when we went there? The Super Bowl. Dude, I got his the mom. Super Bowl I got his year, mom. And I it got, was the year that yeah. they started showing... Uh, Started showing commercials for Soylo. Yeah, that's that, yeah, I got that. that. I got it. Ball. You still have that video? <laughs> yes. <coughs> Let me find. Wait a minute. Yeah, I got yeah, it. yeah. I remember you. You were there with me. It's it's near the video of you trying to kill Jimmy. <laughs> no, not that one. I I just said it's near it. I have different. Oh, oh where it's saved. <coughs> oh, here here you go. This is the first video I ever have. It's on my iPhone 6, but it's still on this because of the my, SIM card. Yeah. Oh, come on, load. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to load. That's nah, all right. But you recorded at Jason's house during the uh, Super Bowl? Yes. Ball? I said, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> let, me, let me find it. Was that the night I was barbecuing ribs at their house? Yes. Weren't they good? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> the only thing I remember, I got his mom to drink a shot of Jaeger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, Cheryl was a great woman. I love her, man. Oh, there you go. I still That's do. your video. Rest in peace. No, we're not doing that. No, I don't want to. I don't to. want to do that right do, now. I do need to get that. Great sound bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to download for it from my phone. Yeah, I'll put it on my computer sometime. I know we've been saying that for because, five years, but... Because it's like two and a half minutes long, so you, I can't send it to you. Right, right. Oh, God. I want to play it so bad. No, don't please don't do I'm it. Not, I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. That's, that's a good picture. You know what happened? He was still passed that's, out. That's the name, the day I made the meme drunk gay on the walkway. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I, I I got a hold of my buddy Rye, and I got eight lore caps. Oh my god. Five for him. Jesus Christ. Three for me. Stop I took doing that stuff. Oh, I don't do it anymore. Listen, I know it was a long time ago. Listen, listen I got five. Yeah. I got five for him. You, you have this deep seated thing within you to make yourself fail. No, I just I, I, was, I put a gun in my mouth and I committed suicide. Yeah, I really don't have this deep seated thing. Don't bring that up. With, you said we're not talking about You already about said that. it. I know, but don't. Tell well, I'm not bringing it back up. But you have this deep seated thing where you don't feel like you're good enough to live. No, not good enough to live. I just don't see anything I'm doing that is progressive. That's because you're doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, okay, listen. I got eight lower... Just listen. I got eight lower tabs. But it's times like this with the four. <laughs> I got eight lower tabs. Five for him. Three for me. One for... Well, I gave one to Monica. Monica. Yeah. But the thing is, he was still passed out. And I said, Chad. Chad. Yeah, he's out. Threw him on, threw him on the fucking sideway near him. Here are your yeah, pills. Yeah, uh, someone took pictures of him next to his head. <laughs> Here's your pills. He sat there for like three hours, dude. I sat on my fucking sidewalk, right in front of my house. Of course, we're gonna I make love fun this. of this. What is that? It's a picture of a shadow of a lemon leaf on a lemon. Oh, I thought it was like the lemon turned inside yeah, out. Like that's a, a lim that's a lemon leaf. On that, the lemon. That, that's a good picture. That's fucking awesome. It's art. Black and white. That's art. That, that's an art picture. I like that one. <laughs> I hope you live. Hey, <laughs> I like you guys. Don't do that anymore, all right? I I felt if, bad about doing listen, it. Listen, listen. If for no other reason, do it for me. What would it do to Maddie? How am I supposed to explain yourself killing yourself a second time to Maddie? I wouldn't. I would Chase just say, is gone. Chase. No, I wouldn't Chase say. Left. No, I wouldn't say anything. Oh. 
I'd wait till he's a grown guess man. Guess who that guy is? Right. I would wait until. <laughs> Let me see. Guess who that guy is? Hey, look at that guy. Not Jake Goff, the other guy. Is that the Mark uh, from uh, the Slime Show on Nickelodeon? What? Double talking? Dare, Double <laughs> Dare. He looks. Uh, yeah, he does look like him, doesn't he? Yeah. But who is he? You don't know him. I don't know him. He is actually a millionaire. What's his name? Brad Tolman. Oh. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. See his shoes? Brad's shoes? What about them? I was Jay's best man. And I uh, I, I got $102. Who, who's your brother's best man getting married Monday to that whore? He wants me to stand with him. Do it. Are you going to hold the ring? You're going to get one of those Jello Pops? I'm going to talk to him one about of those, it. One of those just rings. Listen, just hold listen. on. One of those candy rings when your kid is a big gem. A ring pop. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Listen. Uh, Brad Tolman is an investment broker. I told you about him. Mm -hmm. you know, he's the, that guy. That yeah, guy. he's the investment broker. Yeah. And I, uh, 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 I got a, a suit and everything. Uh, okay. When you walk into uh, the mall now, Volusia Mall. I don't go there. I know, but there's a a, a, a suit place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right near the Cinnabon. Fat or, and tall. Yeah. No, Cinnabon place. You don't get suits at the Cinnabon place. It's... Cinnabon. I don't it, go there. It was right next I to the. I don't go there. Okay, I haven't been there in a I long. I will go to Mr. Dunderbox because <laughs> oh, they have some. Oh yeah, Dunderbox. They they pass that boot no, around the beer you, boot. We need to go to the <laughs> sister uh, restaurant. Mrs. Dunderbox? No, it's a sister restaurant. Sister Dunderbox. It's a sister. No, fuck off. It's a sister restaurant. It's a you know it's a different restaurant, but it's a it, it's, it's part still of that family. It's family oriented. Oh okay okay. Uh, okay, they got a restaurant in the mall. Other than the food court? No, just there's Donderbox. Yeah, Donderbox. Right awesome. before uh, what? J.C. Penny. And whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay. God damn! What was I fucking say, you asshole? <laughs> you didn't have a plan. And because you don't have a plan, you feel like you're you're only getting older. Oh with no, nothing no, 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 no! The uh, the rich guy. Right. Okay. We went there. And we got suits. Okay, and that's when I have my money. And uh, are we? Are, you got are a you, suit? A tuxedo. I got a little. No, suit. it was a rented tuxedo. I got like a Blues Brothers suit. But we went and got. And this guy looked a little queer, but he did my inseam. I was like, they know what they're doing. I guess. I know, but I was like, <laughs> uh, but, did you get a boner? Like no. a semi? You got a semi. But what I told him was, uh, let it out about an inch or so, because I. I know, will get a semi. I, no, I was. I was gonna work out and I did. I lost weight, so I'm mm -hmm. glad they let it out because oh, yeah. I was glad. But no, it was a bow tie. No, I don't no. want to be too tight on the crowd. We had ties. Him and his son, Jay's son, Texas ties. He, he One had of those rope he, ties. He had a uh, uh, no. He had a bow tie. Okay. But the thing is, when I went there, before the whole cer before the ceremony, everyone was getting situated, and I was like, I got, it was one hundred and eighty dollars mm -hmm. to get fitted and to rent that tuxedo. Nice. Me. I paid it. Sure. I, I think he owes me that. Technically. Well, it's a good thing you're still alive so you can go collect. Okay. We were Have there. you thought about a life in being a uh, henchman? Maybe. Why? Uh, I might but be in listen, the market. Listen, <laughs> listen. Oh, oh, Jay's kid didn't know how to tie anything. Good thing it was a clip. Yeah, clip. What, what, it was around the neck with a button. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. But he was like, and then when we tied him up and put the, he's like, oh, it feels tight and I can't breathe. I was like, it's a suit. <laughs> get get used to it. <laughs> well, it, it, it didn't fit. Well, it was a new fit suit. I mean, come yeah, on. You gotta, you gotta grow into it. Not only that, if you were religious, you'd keep going back and getting a better suit. you buy your uh, own suit, you know? Being but religious, uh, I gotta spend money on my suits? Point, my point is. What the like, fuck? Hold on. My, dude, I got some suits and shoes, dude, okay? I don't. I got one suit, a Blues Brothers suit, and you know what I wear with it? Boots. Because <laughs> the camera doesn't film I, your I feet. Went, I went to JCPenney when I had the money, and I wanted my own shoes. I was like, fuck the shoes. I was like, I don't need no random shoes. They were like, what's what's your size? I said, 14. And they laughed at me. And so I went to... Yeah, they laughed at me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. What You size are mongoloid. I can't deal with you. Fucking mongo. <laughs> <laughs> but then I went to JC Penney and I still got them. They're awesome shoes, hundred and ten dollars, and they're leather, full leather, but they're faux alligator on the tip. Oh, okay. 
and that that rich guy, right? I went up. I, around once I went up to the rich guy and I said, "Hey, man, check out my shoes. You like my full alligator?" And then he went, you "Like my real alligator alligator <laughs> shoes?" Yes. Fuck you. I said no. I said yeah, but fuck you, Brad. <laughs> no, I'm good with him like that. I yeah, yeah. I can. Dude, that's why you're not rich. My shoes are 110 dollars. <laughs> His shoes are probably 400 dollars. No, they were real alligator. Not that impressive. And they That's were amazing. and oh. they were worn in. Oh, Brad, probably soft. Did, I told you that I uh, had luxurious. Yeah, they were worn in. I I told you. Have you ever tackled a uh, an investment? Mm. You uh, told no, me about this yeah, already. You ever tackled a, a millionaire so investment guy. broker on his own property? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were doing the right thing. No, he he did it first. Come on, man. My dad, oh, no, he's allowed no. to bully you. You can't bully him. I started talking about three point stance with football, right? right I was right, talking right. about it. Right. All of a sudden, we were about to leave. I was about to walk out. My dad started, he goes, Okay, I'm gonna go start the truck. So, and I'm about to leave. All of a sudden, Brad goes, okay. <laughs> and I go, right, right, And right. I, I kneel down and what? Right, right. I pin him on his, and my dad sees Knocked me. Knocked him on his ass, huh? Yeah, I, and my dad sees me, and I, I we struggled. I went, <laughs> And my dad sees me. Pinning this guy that he gets like twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year from from yeah. work. <laughs> Sorry, he started. Right. Oh, that he makes, loves me. That makes sense. He loves me though. He makes perfect sense. I want his motorcycle. Well, he has you, two motorcycles. Why don't you try to make a deal with him? He has two motorcycles. Give me a motorcycle, or I'll blow my head off. <laughs> he has a like nineteen eighties uh, or nineties. No, no, 70s, 60 or 70s car with sidecar. That sidecar cost him $35,000. Uh, mm -hmm. It was imported from Germany. Yeah. I don't want that one. The one he has that I want is a big old Harley, double twin engine, everything. It's awesome. You know, uh, faux, uh, 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 like, plastic uh, handles. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're, they're like that pla yellow. How white. do you... To explain faux plastic to me. It's Art Deco. It's, it's plastic. But it's that old. You don't have fake plastic. You have old, plastic. It's old plastic. Those are metal, but those are infused with plastic. Uh, well, old plastic. Um, well, you know about new and old plastic? Old plastic shit was when they first... Rickety, rickety, crickety. Solid. Really solid oh, tough. plastic. You know, tough plastic. Thick stuff. The thing is, it's red and white. And it has a kickstart that's a uh, like an Indian pedal. Right, right. You know, mm -hmm. He has a freaking leather pouch on an original Harley Davidson re leather pouch for that design on the front. That pouch alone is worth about $105,000. Wow. That is a, a museum quality uh, 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 motorcycle. Mm. Does he ride it? My, I told my dad I want it. Yes, he, he used to ride it. He's, He's down with it now? No, his cool. wife. He his just wife, doesn't have his the wife time. No, it. he just doesn't have the time and effort and everything. And What's his wife got to do with it? He just uh, gets him in a house more and doesn't care, give a shit. Yeah, he yeah, had his time with it. It's in the garage. Man. It's, I want it! Go get one. Build I one. don't have $300,000. <laughs> hey, motivation. <laughs> <laughs> Motivate yourself to. You don't need a three hundred thousand dollar bike. What you need I told is my a three hundred dollar bike, and learn how to ride that. Imagine, I will grease it and oil it and make. You want to commit suicide? Go on ninety five. Go on hundred miles an hour on a motorcycle. Please. Stop talking. Go on a motorcycle. You said, you will find a new lease on life. You said when you almost fucking die on yeah, a motorcycle. Yeah, you said that one car came in front almost of you. Almost got me, dude. Almost got me. You wobbled. No, yeah. no, I didn't wobble. I gunned it. I'm glad and it, you and didn't the, the back fender, ride or the front the fender the of that truck almost caught my back tire. Ride the concrete. I would have been dead. <laughs> I'd be eating that giant fucking chicken statue on fucking Nova. Oh, yeah. That's where it was. Really? Before right the, there. You're the turn off on Flumbers. Yeah, you were home almost. It almost got me. I was screaming like oh, I never I, screamed I, before. Oh, I was so fucking angry. Like, you go from, hey, this is fun. Now, I wasn't rattling. Oh. I was rattled. Death wobble? Oh. Uh. I was rattled in my, my nerves. I was thinking of death wall. No, wall. no, no. My, that bike don't do that. My bike okay. don't do that. But I was talking about having a nice ride home, and then f from that 
being placated and happy to instantly, <gasps> I'm gonna kill fucking every anybody that fucking comes near me. I almost died. <laughs> but you, you go immediately super fucking violent because you almost died. It's almost like instant it, sober. I, I swear to God, I could feel the heat lamps from his headlights on okay. my arms. That's almost like instant sober. When you're, when you're, no, it wasn't. No? I wasn't drunk or nothing. A little, no, I'm just saying. Stuff. No, it's not like no, that? No, you go from complete happiness. Rattled. No. Oh. Shut up. You go from complete happiness to complete, I'll fucking kill anybody who comes across my path. Because they fucked up. From complete yeah. violence. I, I wanted to go back and find the guy. He was gone. He has gone. Dude, that just, it took me like two hours. That gives me pins and needles. To fucking calm the fuck that down. That gives me pins and needles in my face. I was like, motherfucker, motherfucker. Tears going out my eyes. I thought I was dead. Dude, I guess <clears> me. Dude, pulled dude. down. <laughs> fucking hit the stop sign. It just gave me pins and needles in my face. I wanted to kill that motherfucker, dude. Oof. Some drunk driver. <clears throat> in the middle of the fucking night. I got lucky. My buddy Chad. But I still kept riding. My buddy Chad has helped. Hey, Kitty. Like, that was the closest I ever been. My buddy Chad. My back tires locked up before and I went sideways, but you gotta let go of the brakes, otherwise you'll start flipping. My buddy Chad, though, uh, his mom always got a, a new car every two, three years. Yeah. You know, that's how they do. You know, she leased, you know, they had a roofing business, whatever, they, she had money. But then, there's this one time, it's a big old uh, SUV like hers, but it's a big old white one. It's not big. a big SUV, by the way. Her, it's a, it's a well, I'm just saying. SUV. I'm just saying. It was a big old SUV. It was bigger. Right, man. Um, <laughs> she turned, and it was on bike week. Probably seven, eight years more and more than that. Smashed into it, dead. Uh, she killed a biker. You know, and this this is fucking motorcycle mecca in Daytona. Oh, this is this is right, right now. This is the right biggest. Now, yeah. I can't wait to see how many fucking deaths from biking, and not just people not paying attention. But stupid ass out of towners um, come here on their bikes and they think they're just going to, I'm going to weave everywhere. Well, guess what, motherfucker? This is Florida. You're going to weave right into a stop sign. You, you get all fucking drunk up on oh. US 1, which is fine. You, when I, I ride, you. Okay, when I drink and ride, yeah. I like I get, I get a little buzz. But you know what you do when you get on your bike? First thing to you do. You feel good. No, no, you, no, your eyes are open. No, I'm just saying you feel good. No, you're sitting there like, hee, 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 but no, no, no. You uh, sober up pretty fucking quick. Yeah, you're, dude, it's like my skateboard. <coughs> it's uh, sobering. When, when I was on that skateboard, you, ha you had to forget your buzzness and c concentrate on... When me and what? my buds go out riding, we yeah. fucking have every fucking bar up and down A1A on the way back. You know, we'll go out through the oh, loop, yeah, and about. then um, we're back. we drink beers, beers, beers. But you know what yeah. you don't do? Act like a fucking asshole. No, and don't get drink too much because you're riding a vehicle, One thing, man. No, no, get completely fucked. <laughs> yeah, fuck. But don't act like an asshole. No. You learn not to act like an asshole because yeah. nature doesn't give a yeah. fuck about your attitude. No, no, no. The concrete so, is not giving. <laughs> I've been riding for a, a while now, for years and years. What you don't do is start trying to pull stunts and shit. No, you ride. You don't. You just ride, bro. Just ride. It's easy uh, to ride. I told you just about, be cool. I told you about my buddy Jesse. You know right? what happens? What? You know what happens when you're not cool? You die. Jesse, you remember I told you about my buddy Jesse? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Jesse was a big pill head, and then he got uh, got arrested and had it, you know, shit fucked up. There's a, it's a long story. There's many stories about Jesse, but Jesse was going to the methadone clinic around five four thirty five o'clock in the morning because, dude, yeah, me meth methadone is only open for like an hour and a half, and if you miss it, you're gone for the day. I don't want to know about any of that shit. I, I know, but you're gone. You, you you only get it in the morning. It's to help you. Yeah, if you don't get it, you'll be sucking dicks for crack before noon. But, okay, it was dark, and it was before he had a, No, no, he got road rush. I told you, he had bad road mm -hmm. rush. One side of his back, I mean, the entire half side of his back was road rash. I mean, he could hardly move. Hamburger. He was hurt. Yeah, he was hurting. But after that healed, and after he was getting his life back... By the back, year. About eight months or something. Yeah, it was a while. It took a while. Dude. Anybody get through every like that, and when he was getting really cracky, every time oh, he tried yeah. to move, he was hurting him. Yeah, it's breaking up and the scabs. Uh, yeah, scabs. Yeah. yeah, and but after all that healed, he was still riding. He was still fucked up. Then when he went uh, to uh, when he hit rock bottom, he had to go get methadone because he he was oh, trying so to get bad. his life back together. 
he had, not gonna help. But he but he had the uh, 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 the rider jacket. You know, the, I tried it on. And, you know, he's a little smaller. Yeah, but leather it, should help you. It, it'll break your bones on the concrete. It makes but you at least you, Yeah, it yeah. makes you do this. And uh, and the forearms have a big old like con a protector. Right. You know, so you can slide. Right. You know, but when he had that on, he was going to methadone. And it was around Center Street and whatever other street he was around. He was going like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Some person pulled out in front of him and he supermaned about 40, 50 feet. There you go. He had a helmet, but it cracked and he, I told you, he disconnected so, his cornea. Damn. Imagine what would he, he would have a fucking grease spot if he did, didn't have a helmet on. No, I told you, he's alive. Right. I remember telling you, remember that guy I told you, you know, we were playing video games and his left eye is gone. And I would go, we were playing video games. You fuck him up. Yeah, my brother's sitting back on his bed <laughs> and we're playing video games. I'm going, and he can't see me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but now, the last time I heard, he's in Central Florida in a bee farm. Go ahead. Was one Fa of them. Found some peace. Okay, but he, he had that California surfer guy accent. He said, man, I'm tired of being blind out my right and my left eye, man. <laughs> well. Oh, the thing about Jesse, my dad met him before we met him. Right. Jesse, we were like 16, 17, no, 15, 16. Jesse was like 23. But he was a little guy, and he came over because uh, he was friends of the guy that lived down the street, uh, the big two-story where Heather goes. It was owned by George, and he used to be George's uh, worker, mm. masonry guy. Okay. Leif, or, you know, laugh. Sorry. What the laugh. fuck are you talking about? He would do laugh, you know, the wire shit and doing stuff. I thought you were talking about a lathe. No, not lathe. Lathe, laugh. Laugh the, is the razor wire you put fucking stucco on. Okay. Yeah, that's what he used to do. But my dad met him like seven, eight years before we even met him. Oh, I got another cool story. All right, make it quick. Me, Jesse, Chris was sitting on the front porch. We used to sit on the front porch and smoke a lot of weed and bullshit. Fast forward 1.5. We <laughs> we used to be friends with two guys that live in... <laughs> that, oh, You're going to try it? Come on, I'm going to do it. I'll shut up, I'll shut up, go ahead. <laughs> These two guys that... Used to own BP down on uh, 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 Elf GA. Came one day with a 12 pack and said, This is for you and your dad and everybody. Well, they left. My dad wasn't there. Pause. And Not go normal. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left. And they had a 12 pack. Me, Jesse, and Chris were told by my dad not to be drinking. So, 12 Pause. pack. 75% speed. A little bit slower. Twelve of those. You went deeper. You don't have to go deeper. Just go slower. Twelve of those. Okay, twelve beers. Three guys. How many beers is that? Twelve beers, three guys, four. So we had to chug those because it was around 4, 30, 5 o'clock. We didn't know when my dad was coming home. So we... <laughs> Did you guys leave a little puddle at the bottom of the can or you empty it? Empty God damn right. That's, what, that's no, the first thing you said no right spittle. all day. No fucking that's, spittle. No, 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 no. Chad throws away like a third of like a fifth of his beer. I saw him right now. You feel and that? And then he's like, feel that. He pours he, that out. Yeah, yeah that, I'm telling you. He pours it's like it a, out. It's like a, it's a, it's, a, it's like a fifth of your beer. And it's all backwash. I'm like, who the fuck drinks beer and spits some of it back into the fucking can? My, uh, uh, Chad. <laughs> I think I told you about my, uh, uh, okay. Like a loser. 200 percent, 200 percent. My dad, he had an uncle. You don't want to drink out of the uncle because when he was eating, he was drinking out of his can. get a little food in there. And, and, no, it was chunky. Uh-huh. I see what you're saying. Here. Take it. No, it was chunky. Leave the, leave the fucking filter on one time. Once. I don't like the Just flavor. Just one time. No. It's not going to hurt you. I promise. What a fake. Oh, faggot? Fine, you wanna fucking die, fuck off. Don't die. Leave me out of it. Okay, let's go back in history. What is this called? Cigarette. No, yeah, a cigarette. Cigarette is the female version of cig. Oh. Cigar, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These Men were, were made, made for women. Of. 
Yeah, they were made for women, yeah. And now you got those ones that are super thin. I see oh a man doing that. Oh, my God. I, I, you know what I do? I flick him on the nose. I'm like, you're no man. <laughs> when, when I, was, I go, okay, when I was about, right thir- his nose. When I was about like, 13. Put that fucking virgin when, slim down. When, I was about to say that. When I was about, fr- when I was about 13, 14 years old, I was friends with this one guy, and, his, and we got cigarettes from his mom, but she had them on the top of her fucking uh, uh, bookcase, and we had to go get them. You know, we'd only take a couple. They were Virginia Slims. Wow. They were this long. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and a third of this. Of what and, it's and like is. that much. A third of the <laughs> Yeah, a third of it. You were going... <laughs> we're trying to inhale it. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Those are for guys that didn't realize they're gay yet. <clears throat> trying to suck a dick through a garden oh, hose. You want to hear something funny? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Steve Jason... I need to get a hold of him, man. He was a good friend. Right. Steve Jason. I, uh, I was friends for like three years. Oh, he was one of those guys that found me. Have you ever had one of those friends that found, found you? That found you? You, 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 like, you, you mean like somebody you meet and you're instantly friends? No. I've had that. Hold on. No. You know how you meet somebody and become friends with them? Mm-hmm. You know how you meet somebody in an acquaintance, but the acquaintance, uh, the acquaintance, the acquaintance ends up being better. Be- they like you, and they become friends with you, and it's like, and your friends out like the third wheel. Uh, <laughs> but dude, that's how he became. That's what Frank we used to be. Like I knew Dominic and David, and then as soon as I met Frank, he wasn't a crazy person yet. No, hold on. Uh, uh, I was. And walking- then I became better friends with him than I was with the people I was already friends with. But I no. still love those guys, you know. Holly Hill Middle School. I was walking home. I lived in Tuscaloosa near center. <laughs> so it was, I could walk home. It wasn't far. I, I wasn't on the bus schedule. You know? I was walking home one day. And this guy, Stephen, was behind me. And he goes, hey, Chase. I didn't fucking know him. Oh, I've got that sometimes. sometimes he became my friend. Somebody will fucking recognize me somewhere. And I have no fucking idea who they are. But they're starting to like, we had so much yeah, fun. I, was like 14. Hey, yeah, I know, blah, I was like blah, 12. Blah, blah. Uh, no, I'm no, like, 14. I'm glad you remember this. Fill me in over a couple beers. Okay. And maybe I'll remember funny, who, my funny, fuck I met you. Okay, have you ever, okay, my point is, have you ever. It doesn't happen enough. Have you ever if seen. If you ask me, because that's a surprise. When yeah. somebody. Like, becomes your friend from no, nowhere. What, yeah. Yeah, they see you somewhere and they're like, they start and talking. They, they, they like, want to be your friend. friend. No, they know you. I don't fucking know you, dude. But. This sounds like fun. Let's meet up. Here's my phone number. Um, you know, uh, let's okay. hang out later. I started hanging. Hey, hey listen. They never listen, knew. Listen. It was but a, they knew it, more it was, about it was, certain it was, times in my life that I knew. Listen, it was, a, fu- it was a really good choice, okay? Because his oldest sister was a lesbian. Mm. Lesbian. This one time, she had to go on a date, and she went into the bathroom. With a lesbian? She, she had to go on a date with a lesbian, yes. Mm. And she, uh, she was walking from the bathroom to her room. You know, we didn't go in her room sometimes. Well, less man's going she, No, no, sometimes, you know, if we're just talking to her. Oh, but, yeah, and, yeah. and she, after he became, you know, he made me his friend, I, I started hanging out with him. And Stephen wasn't bad. Now, the thing is, her bedroom and her bathroom, way over there, she's sort of walking and then she, she sort of runs. And does a sort of half skip. Uh-huh. The tile goes. Poof, I see her big old shaved pussy. Oh. I was like, you know who her? Uh, okay. You know, her, I thought I was gonna be able to drink all tonight. Her lesbian, without grossing her les- out. Her les? No, it was nice. Her lesbian uh, big friend. Fat pussy. Her lesbian friend <laughs> was about five foot nine. No, no, five eleven. Almost six foot. Six foot pussy. Butch. Mm-hmm. Crew cut. Of course. Sides of her head shaved, probably. I, would, I got a couple boners <laughs> watching them make out. Like in one session? They were making out in the living room and me and Steven okay, were Okay, so here's what I'm, I'm picturing. They were making out, so you get a semi. Oh, they were... But then it goes away because, okay, now they're just doing this for a show. But then it comes back. And they were, yeah, they were grabbing their asses and. They, uh, but, but then your boner comes back. <laughs> then it comes. And back. then they start doing something <laughs> stupid, oh, stuff, dude. scissors, scissor sisters, and then boner goes away. And then after a few minutes, they start to calm down because they can tell 
The boner energy in the room is going down. <laughs> so they step it up. No, hold on. These bitches hey, step it up, and there, then your boner comes there was back. This one, there was this one party, okay? They always had parties. It never uh, amounts to anything. But they had uh, parties sometimes on the weekends, and sometimes I go over there and spend the night. You know, my parents didn't care. He was a good friend. He came over, and, you know, and we had fun. But this one time, everyone was gone. Yeah. <laughs> There was no people in the house, mom, sisters, nothing. Uh, his younger sister cooked for everyone. She was like almost like a matriarch. You know, the mom oh, didn't good. give mom didn't give a shit. No, oh, shitty mom. Yeah, sort of. And, and there's another story I got, but one at a no, time. There was nobody there, and he had money he could spend. So I was like, let's order a pizza, let's man. Get some of those lesbians over. We were stoned as fuck. We were taking gravity bong hits in his mom's room because that's where the bathroom was, and we. We and that's felt, the only place she could felt, smell pot and not we, think nothing. No, 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 no one was there. And no, no, when she got home. No, no, she wasn't supposed to be home for like a day. No, uh, no. you give they me a story all, with They were all spoilers. gone. Spoilers. So we filled up a cooler and we had like a two liter and we made a gravity bomb. Sure. And we smoked, we, we did some big Thanks, hits. Bro. And then we bought, uh, then we got, I remember it was a ham and cheddar cheese mm -hmm. pizza, two of them from Pizza Hut. And we were stoned at the time when it came, and we just ate the fuck out of it. Yeah, good story. Next story. Hold on. I was a big guy still at that time. I was a skinny guy, and I could eat a lot. Yeah, because you're a big fat fuck now. No, no. Uh, no, my metabolism, asshole. My metabolism. So I could eat a lot. And I, I ate a lot like him, and he tried, you know, piece, piece for piece. We were eating. Nah, nah, sure. Nah, nah. I went to sleep in his bed. He had a bed, bunk bed, and... This isn't going to end well. He was in the living room. I was sort of half asleep, and I heard... Oh, that thick puke. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He it's ate a all, sludge. He, yeah, he ate all that uh, There's pizza. no stomach acid. Yeah. It's just fucking... It's chewed up food coming back. It was just... Just... Like a, a zit that you break. Pizza. But it just, doesn't burst. It just kind of oozes guess out. Guess what happened? He pukes that shit up, and instead of him cleaning it up, he, he, went, it he went to his room and passed out with me. The next morning, I got woken up by his sisters going, mm. What the? What the? Because <laughs> he covered it up with just a blank or a over. towel or something, a big old <laughs> pile of puke. A pile like, of plop. <laughs> those oozy, undigested pizza. Ham and cheddar cheese. Yeah, yeah barely chewed. Like that bitch that puked on the show back in the day, Tina. <laughs> when she she yacked up like a few cubes of ham. That was it. Oh, a look. whole bottle of whiskey. And this bitch, the need I remind you, ended up on life support that day. Unbeknownst to us. Like we did the show, it was a competition. Three people drinking eggs and drinking a whole bottle of Old Crow whiskey. Bottom shelf. I know, I saw that. Yeah. Only the worst for my yeah, contestants. Only the best, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so this bitch finally passes out she, cause she never puked but like I said two cubes of fucking hand came out and the competition was to uh, see how far you could puke I, I mean, know that was the whole competition she wouldn't puke this bitch it was too late to pump her stomach yeah I know you told well, we let her fucking pass out on the carport and bitch died but died greatest show ever <laughs> but the, yeah she had to be put on life support okay. and she she pulled through I mean, she lived, okay, even though story. she was technically dead. Another story was, uh, it was cool because we... It's a great show. I love cards. The name of the game. I love cards, and we used to play rummy. You know, uh, three decks. Two to three decks. Oh, sure. You know, and we... And we You're increasing down. the odds. Yeah, we always played. And there's this one uh, guy that used to play. Okay, that's not the point. My point is, this, <laughs> my, my, this one time we're playing cards, and his mom is bike week. His mom is bike week. His mom was a really skinny, saggy titty. Uh, and before she left, she was playing Dick's cards with us. And she came out with just a, 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 a bikini. Some tassels. No, a, a shorts and a bikini top. But she was like 50-something years old. Who wants wrink, to get some, boys? Wrinkly pickle tits. <laughs> pickle tits. Pickle tits. <laughs> Who wants... Who's feeling lucky tonight, boys? Dude... I had to leave. I had to leave. Me and him went outside. No, no. I was laughing. No. 
I was laughing like yeah, I could I couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> she was nasty yeah, I couldn't stop pointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't stop laughing at her. Did she tell you fuck oh, off? Another sh- no, no. You I, I, her. I, no, no, we we uh, we went outside. No I wonder you want to commit suicide. Hey, <laughs> I fucked. But there's another there's another one. Awful looking aged out stripper. There's another one where uh, the mom was gone. I went over there and I'm glad I never did that. And, and his sisters was having a party, the you know, lesbian and the straight one. Mm. The straight one wasn't bad. I I, I wouldn't mind getting with but her. But you, you could know? tell she ain't gonna let she's no fist this, go up in her butt. She's not this big. I wouldn't mind contacting her. Big giant uh, fan base. But <clears throat> her friend was a nice, beautiful, curvy right. blonde chick. The Messing straight, around with the ugly girl, the straight make her girl. feel good. No, the straight mm-hmm. girl. Yeah, they. I don't know. They were talking. We we're playing cards. And we, I heard her say clearly that she tried something the other night with a friend, mm-hmm. and you had to hold it in a lot to get a buzz. And I said, what, you smoking crack? She went, what do you mean? Wink, yeah, wink. yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, I got, I, Jesus na- Christ. I nailed it right what on the, fucking people you I nailed it out right with, on the, man. I nailed it right on the nose, and she well, went. It's pretty common in this town. I don't do it. And, she was only and I like, hope you're not doing okay, it. Okay, I was like 14 years old, and she was like 17 or so. I was like 18. 27 years and, ago. And she, she, yeah, she went. No, 21 years ago, asshole. Close enough. She, she Simple looked, man. She looked at me. How'd you know that? I said I was guessing. Now you just say I can tell the type. Of bitch. This one time, dude. This girl, she might, she was really close to fucking me because she probably wanted to fuck a younger kid. She was a brunette. Of Who was it? It was one of her, it was one of no. his, it was one of his sister's friends, and she was there at this party. And I think I drank a couple beers. I got uh, totally out of hand. No, she was drinking just amaretto sours. Weak. She said, "I love this amaretto yeah. sour." Hey, are you guys under 15? Cool. Let's hang out. I almost had this one chick, uh, fuck Gross. Her. I almost, I was like 13. Stop hanging out with chicks like that, man. I was about 13. Yo, this... bitches like that don't count. Hold on, I was, hold on, I was <laughs> they 13. They don't. I was 13 and this chick I was... totally banged this hot chick when <sighs> she was a fucking listen, junkie. Listen, like, that listen, doesn't count. She'd fuck anybody. Listen, this is still when I was riding bikes and I was with my brother before he got a car and stuff and we were like, I was like 13 and I became a friend with this guy, one guy who was smoking cigarettes. And then I went That's over... That's how it starts. I went over this house and his sister... He got us into old Dragon Ball Z. He had Oh, well, that's where it comes from. A little bit, but he had these old videos and stuff. We were watching it, and then his sister was a twin sister. No, not twin. But Eternal twin? His name, his name was uh, Stephen, and her name was Stephanie. She was about four or five years older, and she was about, I don't know, around 18, 19. Oh, there you go. And she called me her little boyfriend. Ooh. And that give you a boner? Or? Nice. She called me your little boyfriend, and her friend. You never once thought to say, "Bitch, I ain't little." <laughs> Hold on. You know that little uh, thing you got? That little uh, uh, right when you're going to the, uh, uh, the hallway. You no, know, right when you're going to the hallway where the trash is. And, and oh, I thought you were talking about you, you like where the pussy that, is in relation to the. You know asshole? how there, there, there's that little four by four thing in your wall? You know, right there, just you know, it's just the corner. Stud. Yeah, the stud. Oh, the corner of the place? She was going. And her friend was like... Riding your door now. Yeah, she was got, trying to get me off, man. And, you know, little boyfriend. I was 14. They were 18. They did were making work? fun of me. They were trying did to make... Did yeah. it work? No, trying to... Make trying you, to get me hard, you know? No, trying, no, they're fucking with you. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, yeah, hey, it's a young kid. You'll know see, him about okay, here. Put, this, put it this way. Huh. He would still... Uh, uh, the cigarettes I was smoking was the Winstons. The Red Winstons. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, they, they used hard. to be popular. Hard. Like, right yeah, that was yeah. when uh, Winston Cup. I mean, they were super cheap. Too. That was when the Winston Cup was yeah, still going around. they're not really yeah. going around no more. But no. I was able to smoke a cigarette with their parents watching me. And I was like 14. They didn't know my parents. Well, she's grinding on you? No, that was separate. They wouldn't oh, allow that. They See? wouldn't allow it. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's talk about something more, uh, <laughs> less depressing. Okay. Well, uh, okay. 
You know, on uh, Center Street. Give me a good story, like where you oh, okay. win, where you want, you, you, you get a, a win. You want a good one? A good one. We're like, oh hell yeah, bro. That that that's totally worth living for, because you never know if you might want to ha accidentally have another win. Okay. I've had lots of losses, bro. Okay, you're not the only down, one. Going down Center Street, right where Flemish is. If you're going south down Center Street, sure. You eventually go down, I don't know, 15th or uh, uh, 11th Street, uh -huh. uh, down there on Center, right. and there uh, a couple of. Uh, uh, Stop saying that. There's a couple. Just go. Uh, there's a couple uh, of uh, junkyards. Yeah. Right. The one on the, uh, well, the bigger one. Mm. I was friends with uh, Terry Cecilia, and his uncle owned it. Now, his uncle didn't like him trying, uh, uh, okay, I was like 12 or 13 riding bicycles, all right, 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. I would sneak out of my house. And go ride the streets. And, and ride the streets with my I'd buddy. I've done that when I was a kid. <laughs> I, never, I, didn't I, I didn't have any friends when I was doing okay. that. I, we I rode bicycles. alone. Not even, a mo not even a flashlight because I knew the cops will fuck with you around here. Okay. So you know what? I, I wouldn't ride with a, a bike, a, a light on my bike. And when a car came, I would just hop on my bike and hide in the bushes. Well, this, yeah, okay, this is sort of before that stupid light law. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, too. But still, I didn't want no one to see me. I was, I was trying to be a ninja, okay. right in the streets at night. Here's, okay, look, here's... It's uh, like 12. Here's Center Street, and eventually there's Tuscaloosa, and I lived on Tuscaloosa. I, I know go, where that is. I go from Tuscaloosa to, I know, and down Center Street. It's right just down there. I go down Center Street with my buddy Terry. You this? Don't burn up all the fucking green. I haven't. Hey, I've been save me the, some. I've been having... See, I saved you some. I've been hitting the sides, asshole. Please hit the sides. <laughs> I have. We can all have a nice green hit. Not that <clears throat> I'm saying anything like weed or anything, but... Hmm. That's not what it is. It does smell good. It's catnip. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Worth it. Worth it. Do you taste it? Can you taste it? Yeah, it's good. High foot. It tastes good. Yeah, yeah it does. Um, Terry. Terry Cecilia was <laughs> a little... I even hit it where it's still black. You good? All right, don't die. <coughs> Not yet. Terry, though. Sure. Terry turned out to be one of them wiggers he's been in prison he has all tattoos everywhere on his face <laughs> he nah. didn't get probably got nap. he didn't get no taller than like five foot seven. Oh, so yeah when he get <laughs> next tattoos he's so right. short it kind of goes up on see, the side I, of his head see when i was younger i was sort of see when you get tattoos on the side of your head it makes you look taller <clears throat> see when i was long, when i was younger i hung around i was a lanky guy you know i was like five ten but oh, I, I thought you said lanky lanky Right, right. <laughs> I was too. I got called Slim when I was younger. Yeah, I was called Beanpole and shit like that. Uh, but he was a little guy, 5'5". Five, five. Not around with Beanpole. No. Uh, you probably like, Ooh, everyone I hates me. My dad called me Lurch. That's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not, not bad. bad. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, I know. They're just saying uh, I'm big. Hey, Lurch. <laughs> um, ho, 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 <laughs> green giant. Ho, 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 green jolly, green giant. No, no, no. <laughs> um, if you're gonna do it, at least go ho ho ho, ho green ho, giant, ho, green, green giant. giant. Ah. Maybe that's why that's for. I can talk alone. Okay, you have a really great register with your bass. Now put an accent to it and do a character rather than just do a voice that's low. <laughs> I'm put thinking some, Irish. Put some, put some, put some, no, put some oomph into I'm it. I'm thinking Scottish. Well, do it at any, any kind of accent, even if it's a southern accent. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay, okay, my point. But you just can't talk low and expect okay, people to laugh. I, I want to tell you this. It's, it's and then a punchline. Hey, it was about a year and a half. Where did it was? A year and a half, a year and eight months that me and Terry, dude. Oh, Terry from Primo's? No. All right. That's Terry Whelan. This guy's, yeah, Whelan. Yeah. This guy's Terry Cecilia. Oh, I talked to Hannibal. Uh, Whelan. Really? Animal, animal. Oh, oh, I said, oh, hold on, I'm trying to tell you this. All right, go ahead. Okay. Well, we hung out for a long time, for about a year and a half to a year and eight months. We would go down there on uh, Center Street because his 
That's Uncle, where the crack was. His, uh, no, we we would be around the school sometimes on our bikes and waiting for that red truck to leave uh, uh, the uh, junkyard because that was his uncle's red truck. Okay, and when he leaves, and when he left, we would ride up there real quick, hide our bikes behind some of the cars that were out front. So we you know, tried to hide them right underneath and jump the fence or knock on the door. After everything was shut, or knock on the door. Sometimes, depending if it was busy or not, or and sometimes we just sneak in the fucking it's cemetery. Junk, listen, it's a junkyard. Okay, Even it's worse, junkyard. You might step it on a nail. Hold on, junkyard. And it's a huge ass junkyard. Uh, it had metal fences and everything around it. Mm -hmm. And we would jump the fences real quick. And we look around and see if anyone was outside their houses and jump it real quick. And sometimes we would hide out in the junkyard just a little bit until mm -hmm. everything closed. Calm down a little bit. Well, Zooty Bill. What, we what, called him Zooty Bill. That's a person? His name was Bill. Zooty? Zooty. What's that? Z O. -O hey, don't spell it. Just what, what's it mean? Cricket. Zooty. Ooh, Zooty. Mm. He's zoomy. Like, Zo he's zooming everywhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zooty. Yeah, but how, how do you come from Crackhead to Zooty? His name was Zooty Bill. That's how That's how we talk. Oh, that's how you were introduced Yeah, hey, what's up, Zooty Bill? And he's like... Bah, 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 bah. No, no, at some time... Okay. Was he a smart person? Very. He was just in a... He, crackhead. No, he was like me. He No, well, no, not a crackhead, but... Well, he was a crackhead, but... Maybe not. Not like me. But he was he was stuck in that area in his life. He was okay. he couldn't get okay. nowhere That's else. That's where he wanted to be. One of the... Um, uh, uh, dude, it was a big old... Uh, 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 it's still down there. It's a big old... Uh, the Is he still alive? Here. I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Why don't you go turn in some cans and some... Last time I saw Zooty... Some, uh, some electrical wire and see if it's still alive. No, last time I saw Zooty... <laughs> no, it's a junkyard. It's, no, just for parts of cars. Oh, junk. Car parts. Yeah, yeah, it's not like you're recycling. Dude, no, no, no. Here, there is racks and racks and racks of just uh, uh, car parts. Okay. You know, pumps and uh, uh, oh, they everything. Do, See, they don't even do that no more. And, and they, they put tagged. a fucking car in there. And, they were and if you need a part for your car, you go looking. Yeah. And then you gotta take it off yourself. But, okay. What uh, happened to the good old days when they take all the parts off? Here yeah. are all the carburetors. You can still go down. Here are all the starters. Here's the uh, engine and the water pumps. Here's the. Yeah, uh, what happened yeah. to that? What happened to that? Now they just put a car out there and they're like, you, you want get it, it, you get it yourself. <laughs> okay. But Zooty Bill. Okay. Now Zooty Bill died. He's probably the one who took all that shit apart. <laughs> yeah, dude, they were all tagged too. This it, is a. a I bet a you the bis business was probably fucking booming with that guy. Because look, look, I need a headlight for my truck or something. I don't okay, want to buy it new. I want to go to the junkyard, but they got Zooty Bill. No, no, there. no. This is more metal parts. But I don't have to take it apart myself. No, no. no this is more. I get, I get, the guy already Bert, took it apart. I can just go buy it. Bert, I'll pay ten extra dollars. Bert, it's, it's fine. Bert, it's more. It wasn't like lights. It was more like. I, it was an example. Metal. Just an example. Okay, but it was metal. Like parts. side plating. Your your yeah, do, maybe it, a door. Anything in the engine was there on the racks. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember side we, panels. Okay, the thing was, Zooty Bill, rest in peace. All these uh, cars that were out there, okay, there was tons of cars and bumpers, uh, especially bumpers. There was a shitload of chrome bumpers, specific, mm. specifically for certain cars, right? You built a whole wall out of those. But, yeah, they did almost. Uh, now, the thing is, <laughs> Zooty Bill lived there in one of the really rag, raggedy down uh, SUV kind of uh, campers, you know mm -hmm. those campers. You know, it was a truck with on just a little bit of a camper with a little stove. It's just, in it. You have yeah. the truck, and the camper sits on the back of it. And the camp, yeah, it's like the size of your freaking yeah. uh, uh, yeah, washroom. You, yeah. yeah, it's not big. Right. <laughs> now the thing is, he did smoke crack, and we knew that, and we went there to hung, hang out. But before that, all those bumpers, we would go to bumpers. Sometimes he, he said, go, "Get the fuck out of here and go." Go Give explore. Me a no, yeah, for a while. Go explore. And I gotta crack the smoke. Yeah, probably. And we will go out and find roaches this big, this big, this big, this big, this big, this big, around the bumpers and the abandoned cars around the lot. He left no no joints the, on the fucking the workers. Why would they leave it for Zuba Bill? No, for them to come back to the car. No, you smoke it all. We found them. Nice. And he would roll joints, and we'd smoke them. Goldburn. <clears throat> now, this one time, he took a piece of crack. And put it, <laughs> listen, I saw we saw him. 
and 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 he said to Zuli, "Don't don't make him do that. Don't do that in front of me." He put a piece of crack on a piece of cigarette and hit it slowly. And about halfway, he said to me, "Take this." I hit it. It calm. It, no, it's free basing basically. It was coke basically at that point. No, it's not. It's, it's still crack. I, but no, you boil it down the chemicals. And it's still crack. It's still yeah. Crack. But I took it. Not good for the lungs. Dude, I went for about five seconds. For, no, for about two minutes, I was sitting back and I was like, and, and and he's like, man, what'd you do to him? I was like, and he said, just let him go. Let's just, I gave him a zooty joint. Yeah, he just let him go, and I was like, Jeffrey, if you will. Yeah, Jeffrey. No, why they call him fucking Jeffrey? Please don't repeat it. Um, just but, acknowledge that he's just let's move but on. But you've seen him smoke plenty of crack. Oh my and God. the thing was, as what kids, he, no wonder you're fucked up. Listen, hey, I had a good time, man. <laughs> listen, it was good. I didn't smoke crack with him. What he did was, he goes, look, <laughs> he, he said, yo, well, that time. But that was the only one time Not I ever did. No, he said, watch this. He had a, one of those big magic markers. Uh, smoked that too. And aluminum foil. And he took aluminum foil and wrapped it around there tightly and cut it and sort of crimped it around the edge. And he took a little bit more. And put it around the edge and crimped it on the sides and then made a bulb. Ugh. And then he took a needle and then he dropped crack. This one time they were orange crack pieces no, because they were you. wet. They were wet. No, no. He dropped them I in. I don't know what that means and I don't want nothing to He do dropped that. them in and he lit the lighter and it started going. Making go, crack Cracking, sounds. yeah. Making crack sounds. He goes, and he started rolling it. He's like, I don't. And the fumes, dude, you could see the fucking fumes. And so it was like plastic. And he goes, I don't smoke that. And he, he said, I don't smoke this. I'm going to burn off a little bit. And then bit. it started going, and it started bubbling. And then he went, Ugh. He burned off the chemicals. Ugh. He was smoke, he was free basing co uh, coke, basically. Yuck. Yuck, yeah. But dude, we let him do that. And he was, <laughs> he was setting. Yeah. He, he, Imagine he, if he had smartphones back then. Yeah, that'd he'd be awesome. the biggest fucking show on, fa Dude, on uh, he'd, YouTube. He'd hit it. Starts fucking going to seizures just, and shit. You know, just like falling back heavy. Like, oh my uh, God. Fuck off. <laughs> no, he rolled joints. I don't want to hear about this stupid shit. Well, that was basic. Oh, dude. You <laughs> That's awful. He was a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Great guy. Only, no, 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 he was a crackhead, but he was he didn't force it on us, okay? Yeah, watch me. Watch this, guys. If it, if nothing keeps you from doing drugs, watch me do them. He didn't force <laughs> right? it. He didn't like, force yeah. oh, this, this could be you, guys. When I last time, hey, I went there. It's the best I ever felt. Oh. I, hey, I went there a couple times. Gay. I went, th I went there a couple times without him, Terry. And I jumped the fence, and I was hanging out with him a few times. Dude, I was like 14. He's like our age, 40. Mm -hmm. No, or 35, 40. He's like around my age. I am 40. I don't know about you. Uh, I know. <laughs> but the thing 46. is, the thing is, <laughs> he's, do that he, stupid shit. he liked me. And one of the first things, uh, I thought he did like okay. you. No, no. He Your was, butt no, had no, a reaction really, to saying no, no, he no, liked he me. Was, he was not queer. He was not queer in any way. Yeah, you don't know that. He, he cracked me. You some awful shit. He told me. He, he got me away from Terry. You know, Terry was fucking trying to find some joints. You know? He's my friend now. No, he told me, he goes, hey, he goes, the first time Terry brought you in here, you had this wide-eyed look to you like I, Innocence. Should, like I shouldn't be here. Innocence. He goes, yeah, he said, well, he goes, you shouldn't really be here, but we're, we're having a good time. We're hanging out. You know, want to smoke some crack? No, no, no. no, no, no. Crack, crack was all him. Oh, no, he, yeah, get, wait, wait get, a year, he and he'll no, get you. Maybe. you. Do you have a way to make money? No, uh, we were young. The thing is, he smoked his own crack. He didn't care. He didn't share. He would give a couple <laughs> beers to us, and we'd find the roaches in these roll joints. It was awesome, dude. But those, I would love to go back to that time. But, no, it was no, awesome. no, no. You weren't no. going to rape me. No, no. Why? You weren't going to rape me. That, that's bad drugs, and you don't want to end up a guy living in the dump. No, I would love to go back and experience it. No. Why he didn't try to? Your life. He didn't. He didn't try to give crack to me. He just said at one time. Do you want it or not? No, no. We said no, and, and he would say "fuck you, Zooty Bill." <laughs> but the thing was, Zooty, Zooty, and just kept going back. Zooty actually. Okay. What last, the? One of the last times I saw Zooty. Your sister's probably hooking up with Zooty right now. <laughs> Zooty might like, be dead. Oh boy. No, for the purposes of this story, Zooty Bill 
is out in the woods. He probably still has his job, by the way. But your sister even tried to fucking mooch off him. He's like, look, bitch, okay, get the come fuck on, out of here. Up shit. Get the no, fuck no, out of no, here, no. bitch. Hold, hold on. There, uh, one of the last times... He may that, be living in a dump. Hold on, hold on. But that doesn't mean he wants to be fucking around one with last no few crack, t- bitch. One of the last few times before I stopped hanging around Terry, I was still going there a little bit, but the last few times, he goes, hey, uh, there's a uh, pine tree... Because I was a tall, lanky guy. Sure. He goes, there's a palm. Thanks for reminding me. I he, almost he, forgot. He said, there's a palm tree over there uh, across the uh, 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 street. <laughs> I know where now, the tree is, now, duty. I, 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 hold on. He said, <laughs> now, if you want. I'm going to take a piss. He goes, I'm, I will set up a, a door, a, a, a digital doorbell. Right no, seriously. He said, he camouflaged it. He goes, a digital doorbell. And he goes, it will ring in my um, uh, little... Uh, RV, if you want to come, you don't have to hop the fence. He goes, I'll open the door for you. Because, you know why? People started hopping the fence. I guess they might have seen us. Uh-huh. That sounded real country right there, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they might have seen us. He, start, up. he started uh, stringing uh, a fishing wire with uh, fishing hooks. I mean, big-ass fishing hooks. Because people were uh, trying to steal parts. You know, jumping over and still in parts. And this one time when we, found, when we first found it, me and Terry, we almost got in it probably about six or seven, eight fucking fishing hooks with, I mean, fishing lines with like 20 fucking hooks on them. And we barely missed them. It was a trap. Yeah, it was a trap. <laughs> Fuck. We were like, Zooty, where'd you put that up? I don't know. He goes, oh, sorry, man. Dude, Zooty was only like five foot four. <laughs> yeah, he's a little guy. But he was, dude, you should have seen, yeah, he reminded me of Chad. He had them forearms on him because he worked on cars all the time. Zooty Bill, man, I miss him. He's probably dead. We can only hope. Or his he brain. didn't push crack on me, man. Come on. Or if his brain doesn't work anymore. He didn't push crack on me. If you keep doing that shit for too long, your brain don't work no more. Look at Jimmy. Oh, Jamie uh, Mays. Oh, 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 crackhead, extraordinary. Last, last time I, last time Fuck I heard, guy. last time I heard, oh yeah, last time I heard from Zooty Bill was from Terry, but Terry went all wigger. He went down that path, all tattoos up yeah, and down the, his the wigger arm, path. Yeah. All, all the tattoos up and down his arms. Mm. But he said that Zooty <clears throat> experienced a slight brain damage. No shit. He went. No. He, <laughs> okay. That's what the drugs do to you. Oh, uh, where the you no, know anybody was a lifelong it, crackhead and actually leads a normal life? It no wasn't, fucking way. Me first. Um, <laughs> it wasn't the crack. Oh yeah, it is. It probably was. It led to that. Center Street. He's walking down Center Street, and where Tuscaloosa is, okay. Center Street is here, and the other other street. Yes. He's walking down that street to go to center where the store is to go buy a six pack of beer. Sure. Uh, about three or four nigger darkies. jumped him in darkies. Almost... Darkies, please. Brownies. <laughs> Browns, guys. Yes. Brown, brown. Yeah. Cleveland Browns. Jumped him in one. Let's beat him to death. Well, I wonder why. Probably okay. mistook him for a homeless. Maybe. That's you Daytona. Just, Man, I, you remember when the, there were kids going around <gasps> beat, killing fucking homeless people, stashing their bodies and shit over on Beach Street? You're wrong. It happened. <sighs> Maybe not in that exact order. <laughs> A couple hookers ended up dead, packed between two buildings. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, from what everyone said, all the leads led up to a cop doing it. But they did. They never pressed the issue. <coughs> what about Donnie Roberts? Don't know. Is that the guy that killed himself with a shotgun out in Bulo? <coughs> no, that Donnie Roberts lived behind that uh, in the woods behind the uh, Wind Dixie. Close. The uh, car wash. Close. Close. <coughs> right across the street. There's still woods there. Yeah. That's like a, a more compact version of Ocala National Forest of homeless well, people. Me and my Where on. are the woods at? Hold on. <laughs> I got hiccups right now. But hold on. That's okay. Take your time. 
me and my brother's buddies. Come on, man. No. I already said no more smokes for you because you. I, I, I insist upon getting lung cancer. It will help my hiccups. So will the filter. <laughs> It'll help my hiccups, please. I'll share my cigarette with you. Don't no. take the filter off. No, please give then me no one. Then no more for you. Please give me one. Mm -hmm. Please give me one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, it's not that big a deal. I draw too heavy. Don't. Why? That's my... Just hit it. And it lasts longer. Okay, my point is... You're, you're like one of these fucking faggots from a, a fucking 90s movie where you hit the cigarette and one time the whole cigarette's down the ash in one hit. That's the only way I can do it. It's like these crackheads are like, I can't even smoke weed because if I smoke weed, it makes me want to smoke crack. And that's bullshit. <laughs> no, Hannibal. Oh, man. Get oh, him oh, high, oh, oh, and you oh, know, oh, after oh. after we do a show, he'll disappear. That's why he doesn't hang out, dude. Because uh, even just a little bit of beer, a little bit of weed, gets him wanting to do the drugs again. What do you say about living, living this in This guy's Daytona? too fat to walk up 12 uh, steps, okay? Hold, hold on. Hey, I'm trying to say it. Damn, I gotta hold my breath again. What did he t tell you about living in uh, living in Florida? It's his problem, not mine. He lives in Daytona. I he do a fucking awesome fucking show. He didn't tell us about it. Uh, I could tell. He lives in Daytona. I took advantage of the situation because at least it got him, and he's a big hairy guy, but it got him with his shirt off with chains all around him with a fucking luchador mask. Any I don't give a fuck what you do after we film the show. I mean mice. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Hannibal Mouse. <laughs> I got. I got. I got. I privated that video. I need to let that fucking let the world see that one. That was a goodie. The first mouse you guys let go. That was a, no. He dropped it. Fine. He dropped. He got loose. Yeah, he dropped he it. Got loose. Dude, so I got a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that was. The, remember the first night he did a pinky, a pinky mouse. He swallowed it. But remember we were doing it live. He swallowed it. No, we we're doing it live on a a, a live stream on. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> but some other site, right? So it didn't take. But so the next day, like, well, the video doesn't exist. It, it wasn't live. We lost connection. So you got a bigger mouse, a full whitey, whitey mouse, and that one got away. Okay. And that was perfect for the joke. And then you got another one. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got he got had it by okay. the tongue and the, and the, uh, the now, spinal so column, was, and it, the spinal column was still intact. The asshole was connected to the tip. The asshole is intact to the... And that's when he that's when he said to... He, he said, eat the asshole. And he goes, ooh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he took my beer and fucking started drinking it. Yeah, you're four loco. That was... No, I, ne I never drank you four loco. You all have four loco. No, yes, I didn't. Did. No, I fucking didn't. You, he was drinking It's in the video. Okay, well, it's let's not. look it up. It was a Natty Light. Oh, he was it drinking it. It was a Natty Light. He was yeah, fuck it. him. He can he drink was, whatever he wants. But, but he took my beer out of my hand. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And because he was washing all that down, that's the only time in human history, at least in my human history, <laughs> well, I, I, was af I was no, I was worried about backwash. Um, <laughs> hold on. The first one was I threw that beer. He didn't chew it. He, another one. He took the pinky. Oh yes, he did. Oh, he, the pinky was. He different. took the pinky and just swallowed it. Mm -hmm. Now this, now I tried to get him the smallest hopper I could, I could get, but oh, then it, hopped all right. but then it jumped over. Hey, I got it hey, lost. It's so on the, camera, dude. I got a bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he chewed that motherfucker all the way to guts. Yeah. All the way down to paste. Well, well, when he went in there, it looked like he was biting him and he went... Yeah, yeah he kind of went <laughs> on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that mouse knew he was going to get ate. <laughs> I mean, what was... What would... If you were a mouse that, that is made just to be snake food, would you rather be a sweaty fucking ginger, human being, big fat motherfucker eating you, or a snake? The snake... Doesn't make a show up. Okay, oh, the or, snake just fucking does his business. Put it, put, it, put it this way: at the point, the rat or mouse doesn't know is going to be fed to a snake. Completely humane, but, by the way. But <laughs> but then but then the mouse sees this white guy that go, is going. <laughs> he's going to freak out. <laughs> and his eyes were like pointing different directions, like. He's checking out. Like, he, he's not even paying attention. Dude, he's look doing it up, because I can't find... Yeah, right. look it up. Send it to me. <laughs> All right, I'll send it to you. I filmed it. It was good film work. I Yeah, yeah, yeah.